Well, it goes like this. I was recording down at DC someplace. We was recording some sort of forum. All right. And Errol was there. And so Errol, <laughs> and he had sort of hij and near the end, he sort of hijacks the program. You know Errol. Yes. And so he says, you know, the smartest person in the room is this guy here. And he points down to me. And I'm looking at what the heck's going on, you know? And basically what he's saying, you know, as, as an archivist, somebody, because remember, not only do we have to record it, but you know, there's a lot of us, some of us who are in radio, you know, we have to then go and edit it. And we're so, so constantly, we hear the information, you know, three or four times nice. before, you know, you, uh, whatever gets down. Out. And even if you don't even, even if you're the dumbest person on the planet, osmosis will take over. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, so so Melvin Simmons, uh, you were saying with all these new things happening, you know, you you got the, the, these programs where you can just take your smartphone and you can have a closed network. Where you record everything that's being said. Uh, there's podcasts, of course. So what's what, what's the, uh, we're redundant. We you don't need they don't need recorders and archivists anymore. <laughs> we mean they don't need recorders and archivists anymore. Well, I'm just saying I'm looking <laughs> at it. Still got to be someone to categorize everything. What's relevant, what's not relevant? We're back to that question about uh, what's the cultural significance, what's the political significance, what's the historical significance. You're still going to need somebody to make that, those kind of determinations. We can't get around that. My thing with people is you better get that down clear, clear about that first. Because other than that, you're just gathering information that's going to sit and gather dust. If you like the NSA. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you gather, constantly gathering stuff. And to what use? Mm. What is the significance of the sound gathering in a situation like that? Our significance is we're gathering material and information that will have use, will uh, provide the, uh, the how, how would I put, the, put it this way, uh, that will provide the substance for people to go to, to build something on, to what? build movements on. Mm. When you say movements, uh, are, you, are you talking about future movements? Or? I'm talking about future movements. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Future movements, uh, we, we learn, if we don't learn from all the movements that have come before us, see, we keep repeating the same mistakes. And as I look like look at like Black Lives Matter and, and some of these other movements, some of them are repeating stuff that we've already that our folks have already done. We've done as a people, and unfortunately, the elders did not pass this knowledge on. Well, isn't that, isn't that sort of a, 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 there is some sort of difference, a, a monicum of difference between Black Lives Matter and, and other movements in that uh, they are, in a weird sort of way, the elders because the elders didn't mention anybody. Right. Black Lives Matter has risen up. And now the elders are saying, oh, wait a second, oh, no, no, no. And they're sort of, they are jumping in there and talking to them. You know, yeah. there is the, there's a liaison. So yeah, yeah they, it's, it's but, but also, I'm what, I'm looking at what's, a lot of the elders are coming out with a lot of crit more criticism of Black Lives Matter than coming in to assist them to get over these, these so-called uh, problems and obstacles they see they're going to have coming down the road. They're not coming, they're not just, they're not just, they're not coming in and say, all right, we see that your movement needs to be better organized on the ground. That's something you need. You need to be more community-based. You got to get a, a real foothold in the, in the communities that you're supposed to be representing. That's not what they're saying. They're coming up, they're coming out criticizing them for their tactics. Tactics are irrelevant at this point. Whatever, whatever listen, whatever scores is going to be what's going to carry the way today. You've got to go after these people, and if you start using the old tactics that you know some some of the movements that we're familiar with use, that's not going to make it all the time. They're ready for those kind of tactics. Mm -hmm. We need to come up with some new tactics. Well, that's what I'm saying. This 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 communications between the the uh, the, the the old heads and this and this new movement uh, shouldn't they shouldn't they understand shouldn't they shouldn't something come out of that? There's some sort of some. Oh, definitely. Uh, I see stuff coming out already. There are people who are now. In fact, I was uh, just speaking with uh, a few weeks ago with uh, Rakia Lumumba, uh, Chuck with Lumumba's daughter, and she was saying that they're sitting down with some you know the people that they, 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 through her father, and they're gaining knowledge from them. You know, because they don't know it all, mm -hmm. and even out. And then she, she, and she said when she was speaking to the, the form, some of these former activists, they, they were saying, "Listen, you can't do. You can't follow us. We we made mistakes. Don't make the mistakes that we made." Mm -hmm. Now, our job as sound gatherers is and people who maybe straddle both, both or somehow is in between both the or 
the oh, witnesses. Yeah. Yeah, 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 witnesses. We, we're the witnesses. Again, we're the witnesses. So our thing is, listen, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna make available to you, to you every piece of information I can that's relevant to the, to the struggle, to our, our past struggles, and sit down, and look at it, go through it, learn what you can learn from this material, and put it to use. Mm -hmm. Put the using and, and your movement. So, so are you? Uh, so that's that's one sort of a, a niche. What 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 other kinds of of um, strategies, tactics, whatever have you? Do you think the sound gatherers uh, or an archivist, um, somebody who's been archiving for basically what thirty years, twenty what, thirty how, years, uh, about thirty years, thirty thirty five 30 years, plus now. years. Yeah. Um, can 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 they impart? All right. One of the things I'm looking at at this point is utilizing the new technology to make this uh, uh, the information we've gathered available to everybody anytime, any place. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm speaking to some people that work on a website. And on the website you will be able to archive you'll be able to have access to all the sound material, the video material, and also the research material that we've also collected along the way. Mm -hmm. So they'll have all that to play with. Mm -hmm. You can go in there, see Hear Dr. Clark, see Dr. Clark. You have the, all his books are there. Articles are going to be there. All the articles are, which, which are not available normally because I I collected all the articles Dr. Clark uh, did for the City Sun. All those articles I'm going to make available on the site. Mm -hmm. You can go there. You can get you can get to all his writings. You'll be able to get to the the, the books. Mm -hmm. There's our uh, brothers working with us who's going who's trans who's transcribing stuff into ebooks. So you'll be able to download all this stuff at your, at your leisure. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, I'm reaching out to a lot of the old activists and sitting them down to record their stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had I had a I had a fascinating two fascinating conversations. Uh, one with James Small, I put it up on YouTube already. All right. And and, uh, and with Dr. J, and he, he had some other people uh, 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 with him. All right. Uh, and so we had a little uh, yeah. talk here. That was fascinating. Too. I have to get back. I'm, I'm not gonna put up till I get back to, to South Africa. But yeah, I can see I can see that the value yeah. of that. Plus, the other thing is that um, I had an interesting experience with. Uh, uh, well, it was uh, oh at the at the audio drama. Audio All right. drama was kind of interesting. Here, turn this around. Oh. See that, so we can. So I'm not doing no editing. Uh, uh, on the audio drama, we did the uh, uprising of the downtrodden. It's right. part of it. Uh, you know, you know how I'm spontaneous, or whatever it is. You know, whatever you want to call it, crazy. Uh, but uh, Basir and Chawe, we did it on his program, in his time slot. All right. So of course, I I, I don't preempt people. So he's part of it. All right. So he, um, he, we're sitting in, in Dr. James Conyers' house right now. <laughs> and. And I had, a, he basically, part of the he interviewed James Conyers. All right. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, they had never met before. All right. They never even, you know, they saw maybe seen it, but they never met or talked. Mm -hmm. And it, it was in two seconds, we went back to the play a little bit, then went back to the, as, as the next segment was done, two seconds. Then when we was uh, walking away, his brother was there, Sid, you know Sid. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, he said, oh, man, y'all, it was like, you know, y'all knew each other. It was like, Blah blah blah, mm -hmm. and I realized there's a certain thing with sound guys that is, as well as programmers or like we call them presenters. Somebody yeah. like Basir, right. who 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 is not only a, a, an activist but had a radio program for so long that he knows how to interview a person where it sounds so natural, Good so mm -hmm. and 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 the person trusts him so much, and, and because of the, uh, uh, the what do you call him, buddy, but 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 Dr. Kanyas, he's been out there for so long. But again, a disciple, if you want to put it that way, a, a, a mentee of, of Dr. Clark, and. and he knows so much stuff, but they trust each other so they can feel each mm -hmm. other, you know, be, mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, I think Basir had a, had a, had a, a, um, a cartouche on it when he's come down in the elevator, mm -hmm. and, 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 and James, who reads, who, who reads out of says, mm -hmm. oh, you're Basir, you know, like that, he's like, oh, you're, they, and that was just the mere, yeah, re, yeah, the mere recognition, so, so I, I spirit think, recognized spirit. so, 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 it, it's weird because, um, in the original, I don't want to say, in the 60s, for instance, you had this whole, all these agent provocateurs and blah, 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 because people didn't really, you know, know each other. Right. But here, now you have people who have some sort of history, or, if, or you can you can tell somebody, mm -hmm. you can tell if somebody right. mm -hmm. is, is, is is really your kitten kid, and kin. Mm, right. Because, you know, uh, how does how's the thing that, uh, um, uh, uh, what's the name said? Um, 
all my all my all my skin folk ain't my kin folk. All my kin folk ain't my skin. Whatever it is, yeah, so yeah. Hurston said it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, but 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 continue on this thing. Um, there's a there's a trust thing happening. There's there's a uh, maybe it's not even a, a maybe it is about like okay if we know that we don't have an army or we don't want to we know we we know the police force whatever or the forces have. They got that trump card, right? Since we don't want to do that anyway, no. you know. Uh, yeah, then we we then, we, then, use, we use our trump card, and, and you know I've sat down with um, I think it was um, Brother Kaba. Uh, you formerly know know, know him as uh, Booker T. Coleman, right, and, yeah, yeah. and he we we were discussing about this whole question about culture. See, our culture is our our next super weapon. See. And we and we haven't even begun to understand that yet. That's our next super weapon, because with our culture and this digital technology, we can take this thing, we can turn this whole thing around, but we got to organize it. See, they are right now coming out from the continent and particularly from um, Latin and South America, all these black and Latino filmmakers, and they're making all these breakthrough films. I've been looking at and doing, going through screenings and, and just looking at the, the breakdown synopsis of some of these films. These are incredible pieces of work. But we only, unfortunately, we don't have, and here in New York City, we have like three venues that you can see these things at. The general public is never going to be exposed to these things if, as the way they're being distributed now. Well, uh, uh, and I, I hear you, I don't want to really mean to cut you off, but, but do we, at this particular point, do we need the general public to, to do this? You understand? Uh, no, we don't need the general, we, sort of... we don't need the general public to do it, but we need uh, a general v uh, venue mm -hmm. that people can have access to. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of the stuff is, you can, go, you can go online and get to a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but a good 75% of the stuff, you can't, it's, there's not, they're not online, it's not online, the content is not online. Yeah. All right, because of uh, intellectual property rights and all kind of other considerations, mm -hmm. people just don't want their films to just disappear from That's us. That's right. Because yeah. their they, they, mm -hmm. their livelihood, they, right. they, they can make right, right. So one of the things we need to do is begin to take the, get better control of the venues that we have access to in our community and make those venues more orientated towards culture. We have right up here. We got the National Black Theater. Mm -hmm. Now I know. For a fact, the National Black the National Black Theater has done a lot of stuff, you know, presenting African culture. But we need something in there on, like, or say, I would say, like, on a weekly basis, mm -hmm. where you can go, you can take the your 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 your, your, ch your children, and go see a film about what's going on, about a story about Senegal, about a story about the Sahel, a story a story about South Africa. Mm. And then talk about yeah, it. Yeah, and talk about it. Right there. Right there. So you're, you're, you're talking about little, almost like little groups. Yeah. So it's like you're just, the African Poetry Theater would be another yeah, site. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, yeah. The Langston Youth Library in Queens would be another site. The Studio Museum would be another site. Mm -hmm. See, all, there, these sites are available, but people haven't, figured, haven't thought about, you know, how can I take this stuff and put it in some place where I can get the people in and get people more acculturated, see? Mm -hmm. see? Get them into their culture. Because what's happening, I'm watching with, with, with MTV and so on, we've been taken out of our culture, basically. Course, yeah, well. We've been taken out of the culture. Well, that, that's what I mean. I guess that's what I mean by, you know, is it necessary at this point because there's so many distractions, so much confusion, you know what I mean? I'm saying that the people who, who want to go to, I'm, not, I'm just going to name it because he's a big name, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But people who, who, who want to watch, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, Nicki Minaj or, or, or Beyonce do mm -hmm. whatever they do, fine, great, you yeah. know what I mean? But maybe that might be a help because, you know, if, if Jay Z say, hey, Tidal, we're going to have every once in a while, we're going to have a, a thing come through Tidal, but right. this is going to be really an advertising to get you to come to go right. to the African oh, yeah. Theater. Yeah, and also, that that's also, you know, know that's an avenue we haven't even looked at yet because I've been reading stuff where people like Jay-Z are, are made commentary you know they would like to get involved with the other other and other venues they want to look at other other cultural venues also they would like to look at um Jada Jada Pinkett Smith she's been she's just got through sponsoring um um, um some cultural organization I forget where it's at but basically it's an African cultural organization Mm -hmm. So they are conscious of, of you know other venues and other and, and our culture. And they talk too among themselves. And they talk they, they, among. They know there is a responsibility. They, they, they do talk among themselves because I've read, I've read, and also listened to Alicia Keys talk about African culture, and I, I was quite taken aback the she the knowledge that she has. Mm -hmm. But again, 
that has to be organized. No one is coming together and saying, listen, you all need to take some time, put some energy into this institution or maybe this institution where we can get this stuff in here and people can come in and actually really look at the culture from all these different vantage points. Well, here's, 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 now let me, let me do this other thing here. Um, one of the things, a long time ago, um, one, one, one of the reasons why I'm South Africa, I saw this nature thing. It's about these a, a certain spider species. I think they're in like south, uh, uh, southwestern sp um, Africa. Right. And what they do is they create a, a net, but it's like they all create this huge mm -hmm. net. They all, they, they, all these spiders, they could, and so you have these, like, I call them nodes, you know, mm -hmm. this, this is my da da da. Mm -hmm. But they'll catch all this stuff and then they'll, they'll Shit. share. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter if this, as long as you're part of that network that's and you, you've helped build that thing, that's it. so you can share in the and you know in, in, in the bounty. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking if you think worldwide uh, again, mm -hmm. you know you think worldwide because, like you said, if people in in Brazil, in Brazil or or in India or, or you know in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. you know in, in, in or Southern Africa, all mm -hmm. over Africa, mm -hmm. you know and in, in in the Philippines, you know, right. and I'm just talking these these guerrilla movements and you know mm -hmm. blah 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 blah. I'm talking, you're saying culture, culture. Culture. And you know, you know, American culture, you know, we, we won't even talk about this. I mean, can I say something? I'm going to say something that's going to be really, really out, you know. But I think one of the most damaging things that, that, that white supremacists had to deal with is when Prince came out with Love Sexy. And he had that poster of himself half naked, you know. Or, or, it, as, as part of the album, oh, no. with the album. Can you imagine all these little white girls putting this poster up on oh, their yeah, walls yeah. and the white supremacist looking and what the hell? Yeah. I'm not talking about basketball players. I'm, you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly. Niggas, wait a second, is this guy, Is I thought he was, you know, androgynous or something. They, they, they confused, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In other words, if we put confusion on their confusion, Listen, they're so confused. They're they're confused gonna, anyway. Oh, they're yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I can imagine people coming home and seeing, the, uh, um, say, uh, Queen and Zinga from Angola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The post of Queen Zinga in Angola in their 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 daughter's their daughter's bedroom. Mm. Cause she just went and saw it with, with some of her classmates. Mm -hmm. This is a white girl. And she she's down with that. Cause this the woman fought for 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 her people. And she's a woman. That's right. They just connect on a woman level. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, listen, I've watched people it's how people respond to culture. When like uh, about a week ago, I was, I was coming from my job, and it was this. Now I'm up on 145th Street, and that neighborhood is now being gentrified. Mm -hmm. So all the schools and stuff. Basically, you're gonna see white girls, you're gonna see a, a black guy, little black boys, little, little black girls, little Spanish girls, all in the, together. So these the, the Spanish girl and the black guy is teaching this white girl how to do hopscotch and stuff, mm. which is, I found funny. And she's looking at, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, yeah, yeah. you got it right. And the other girl said, no, no, you ain't got it right. We'll show you how to do it better. And that's what's happening. That's the thing that people are trying to get away from. See, see, the white supremacists don't wanna deal with that because they clear about one thing. Once or everybody comes together, they are out of business. You say the truth will roll out. Yeah. Yeah, but they say, but but, but remember that their system is, is they have like what seven, eight, nine different facets. And if you're just dealing with one facet, they still will have this shot or that shot. Oh, of course, to, to subvert of course, the thing, oh, and they'll adjust. Oh, they'll they'll adjust, but we can adjust faster than they can adjust. Because again, the elders have the experience. We we've had the experience to deal with them. We know exactly what when they go ready to make that move. We already know what the next move is going to be to make. And you're talking three dimensional chess here. Yeah. And we have people who can play real three-dimensional chess, see, mm. in our community. Another source of a of, of, of resource we don't use. I watch the elders, you know, out there playing in, in the little games that the elders be playing. They good. They know they stuff. And if we apply that, those tactics on a on more community uh, community basis, yeah, it'll, it'll work. Mm. That's why everybody's you know, always watching. What are they going to do next? We, we, we got to stay ahead of them. So, well, one of the things that I did uh, when I'm learning, because, you, know, you know, I'm of a, 
a different uh, mindset, or whatever. <laughs> you know, and I've been through all these struggles, and, I, and I, I'm realizing, and I think language is most important too. Plus, plus my my background and this last piece that I did here. Mm -hmm. um, it's, when I do my audio dramas, it's just fun. I, I'm not trying to make any kind of point, but yeah. and there is this sort of experiments to make these to the, ne the next level to other things. Mm -hmm. But I purposely, the only thing I did was I named it mm -hmm. Uprising okay. of the Downtrodden. Downtrodden. Yes. And I did that on purpose. It, it, it come, actually comes from a, a play, I, a piece I just did in South Africa called Revenge of the Chickens, <laughs> which is the animal rights piece, but we turned it, I, I want to get into it. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I say, you know, uprising doesn't mean, it just means that you, you know, you're moving. Right. And then when I say downtrodden, I purposely said downtrodden because you, if, you, basically out of this, because last time I was here in the States was, was Occupy had just started. Yes. And the next week I was here, I was here and then the next week of the uprising, you know, mm -hmm. Occupy started. Mm -hmm. And I realized that, you know, all these little white kids was saying, hey, wait, what's going, what's going on, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Now they may still benefit from white supremacist system, whatever mm -hmm. happened, but they still know, hey, there's something else going on here. Yes. So by me saying downtrodden, you know, well, automatically black people understand what that means. Right. But then you got all these other, you know, white people. If they, if they haven't, you know, I'm talking trailer park people, whatever. If they, if they haven't been Trumpicized or whatever mm -hmm. have you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and they start getting the conscious. They say, hey, you know something? Wait a second. I'm downtrodden. I might not be black, but I'll let me do the. And which, which brings up a whole nother point. I'm sorry to jump around. I have a whole nother point. I've always believed, and I think uh, Huey Newton said this, uh, that. Whoever you are downtrodden, you can still work within your group to do something. Mm -hmm. You you know you you like for instance we 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 have this whole uh, thing being think well we don't well say the the the, 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 the I was quite surprised these days with the, the, the how many homosexual males I see running around. Let's just openly I said whoa what's going on here? Mm -hmm. you know? But they have their role. Yeah. You know. They, oh no. Oh no. Listen. Everybody has their role. Oh, everybody, they, everybody, everybody definitely has a role. I mean that's. That's an element which we have not even begun to deal with. Some of the most active piece of people I know are gay. And if I, if I go to bring them, now at this point, the circle I've been traveling is uh, right at this point is basically, I would say 60% women, 20% uh, male. And the males ain't going to accept if I start bringing a bunch of gay folks in, into the organization, they ain't going to accept that. I know that. They're not going to accept that. The sisters don't care. You, you, you doing the work? Come on in. They have no problem with that. What I have to do now is or begin to orientate folks. So listen, we're going we gonna to have to bring in, we got to expand, we have to bring in. If they're gay, so they're gay. They're doing the work. They're doing the work. That's all that matters. See? My thing is, if you're doing the work, I don't care what your sexual orientation is. We, we used to have this thing in the 60s, especially, you know, we knew, we knew you knew you was infiltrated, you know what I mean? You know he was agent performing some cop. Mm -hmm. So you would, you would say, okay, fine, we'll have this guy hang up posters or run the mimeograph or something, you know, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if you're going to spy on us, well, at least, we, you know. Get, get some work out you. Is. We'll get some work out you. Why are you doing it? <laughs> Because, like I said, I, I've, I've watched how this thing has developed. And even over down at Eminem, every time I get a call about some kind of something that needs to, that we need to take a look at as far as sound gathers, it's usually from a woman. Mm. I very seldom get any calls from any guys that say, Melvin, we need to jump on this because it's, it's something that we need to cover. It's usually the sisters that's calling me. And one of the people who do it, Eminem, who's been helping us, you know, secure our position down there, is a gay brother. Mm. He he been keeping. He, listen, he keeps his eye out. Something coming up that we need to know about that's gonna affect us. We get a call. We get a, a text or an email. This class coming up and this technology, y'all need to take a look at it. We are gonna be giving this class to free. Y'all need to take a look at it. Mm. So, so. I will listen. I'm 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 open. I'm I'm going to keep my eye open on all opportunities. Mm. What I think uh, the, the the thing that I really want to begin to deal with, besides the technological stuff, is that we need to t seriously take a look at what's what's happening with our, with our young our young children, our the children. What's really happening with children? I mean, I'm seeing some, some horrific stories concerning children, 
not just black or Latinos, I mean just children. I mean the stuff they're being exposed to. I mean the negative stuff they're being exposed to. It's horrific. Mm. And some of the parents don't seem to be aware that this stuff is going to be traumatic to your child later on. And you know, the, the, the building things, you know, like, what, what's that thing that the Jesuits used to say, you give me, you give me um, somebody, be, if I get them before nine years old, old seven years old, old, like that, then I got them for life. I got them for life. So you're, you're, you're saying they're on that tip now. Oh yeah, definitely. No, I, my thing is to put together a curriculum that, can, that, that we can begin to put into institutions, community institutions, where people can bring their children to and begin to orientate them to a different kind of perspective on the world and life. See, besides what they see outside their front door. Mm -hmm. See, because what they see outside their front door is usually negative. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm on, I'm on 145th, that's what I'm working at now. And I'm working in like six buildings. So I know most of the people and the families in those buildings. And the kind of traumatic stuff that some of these elders and, and, and young adults put these children through. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, I'm surprised, you know, folks don't lose their minds. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but when I'm not following you, you have to, give, you have to be more explicit. I mean, you don't have to be explicit, explicit, but you got to get, 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 give me a little bit more. All right. I'll, I'll be specific. I'll be explicit. I'll be very clear with it. People who are being beaten, young children being beaten, young children who are being shouted at day and night, you know, for stuff that is minimal. I mean, if the child, if the child doesn't obey you and the child is like six, six, maybe six years old, you, you can't be beating on no child six years old. The child doesn't understand what you what you're talking about. Most times. Mm -hmm. Child don't know what you're talking about. I'm watching people grab people and throw them up against the uh, the chair or the, against the the, the the building for, for stuff that they don't understand. Which what what the hell are they even being grabbed for? Hmm. And the adult is sitting there can be trying to communicate with them, but a six year old like she should communicate like he was sick, uh, communicate with another adult. Hmm. So at times when I get a chance if I see him I talk to him. I talk to him, say, you know, what's happening in school? Uh, what you going to be doing in the park? I see you're going to park. What y'all going to be doing in the park? But, no, no, there needs to be an intervention, some kind of intervention in our communities. Hmm. I mean, a friend of mine years ago told me, he said, you know, we need a, 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 a psychiatrist on every block. Uh, oh, you have just said something. One of them, in 1969, you hear me, 1969, New York City Mission Society, Cadet Corps, Summer Academy, right? Mm -hmm. This is where, this is that famous time. This is, a, I'm, 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 this is I, when I say this, you're gonna say, oh, of course. You know, uh, you know I grew up in the Cadet Corps, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. and then we had this whole, well, it doesn't matter, but but they put the D company, which is youngest kids. They were like, well, the cutoff age was supposed to be nine years old, but it's like seven, eight, nine mm -hmm. years old. They put, they, they were on this, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, you know and then they, 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 they had this, uh, so it was D company, and then they had to have platoons, you know, yeah. platoon beats and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And so they, somebody had the brilliant idea of putting all the, all the troublemakers, all the bad kids in one, <laughs> you know, one platoon. Mm -hmm. and here's my interpretation. I'm quite sure to go to this, but I'm just going to romanticize it. Mm -hmm. Then, then they, so they had the brilliant idea, they put it all together, and then they said, wait a second, who are we going to put in charge of this? Mm -hmm. Then they said, well, because, uh, you know, they, they knew us all from when we were kids. Mm -hmm. So I think somebody just said, well, craziest person we know is Anthony. So, boom, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was in charge of this platoon. You know, my mm -hmm. assistants were by John Laurie and, and Sam Pollock was with, with, with them. But it was an amazing thing. These are all the damaged kids, whatever mm -hmm. have you. And it was unbelievable. This was the best unit there was. I had him sing revolutionary songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we took, you know, John Lennon's song, uh, uh, number nine, number mm -hmm. nine, revolution number nine. Well, mm -hmm. you know, Nina Simone had an answer to that, which is going to be a revolution. Mm -hmm. But we took, changed the words to, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we've all kinds of, and plus, like the, 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 you had, you had the, the, the most predatory kid right. protecting. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, it was amazing to, to but, oh, to, yeah, but you had to have that leadership, you right. know. Yeah, and, uh, but but I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just saying I, want, I want to get back to exactly what you said. But this guy Vincent Trotman was in charge was was the company commander, and he said he said he said, he said Anthony, you know, Harlem he took my Harlem as 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 mm -hmm. the communities. Harlem doesn't need 
um, social workers, whatever. We need an army of psychiatrists, psychologists. And, and it's interesting that, I'm trying to say, these things are out in the air. We know these things. Yeah. So the, the, so the question is how we implement it, which goes back to what you was talking about. If you have these, these venues, these nodes, I'm calling them nodes. Right. And like, you don't have to have a lot of people. Yeah. and Because not everybody in, in, in your little, your six buildings are gonna be able to come. Right. But if you bring the kids with, my problem is you have to bring them with the parents. The parents. Yes. With the parents, yes. so when they see that, mm. and then and and not just some sort of person getting up there after the movie and pontificating, and they're, they're no, the expert. No, okay. then they've got to start the conversation mm. and da 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 da. Yeah, and let the parents, let the parents, let the parents mm -hmm. yeah, have the parents get into the middle of the conversation. They got to be part of the conversation, and then at some point, depending on what what's the age of the ch the children in in the, in the families. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Keep on talking. Yeah. Let them get into the conversation and have a, a conversation between the two of them that's what you need you got to have you got to have the parents and the families okay all right you have the fa the, the whole family come together and let them have a con a, a conversation and then have and have the psychiatrist there so, so he can be he'll be like the the the, the moderator or, or in some case, cases he he be the person who might will, will keep people off one another. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, that, that's what needs to happen because some of the stuff clearly that's going on in these families has to do with a lot of outside pressures that people don't even know can't, can't they can't deal with. Or the regular thing, you know, but but boss kicks kicks uh kicks father, father kicks uh, that, that, uh wife, wife kicks children. And that's exactly so what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. And I can show and I and here's how I track it. The parent comes into the management office where I work at. The management office is getting on the parents because they either laid in the rent. They didn't. They didn't uh, let the let the, the inspector, the, the 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 city inspector, come in, and and because the company's going to be fine for this, they jump on the parents. Their parents then. I, I watched this. They got the kid with them. They get outside of the building. They immediately jump on the kid. Immediately. I don't care. The kid could do something minor. They immediately take out. They couldn't take the frustration out on the property manager. So they take it out on the kid. Well, so Melvin, I, I didn't even know we was going to go this this direction. <laughs> I was going. To, you open this box. <laughs> no, no, I. You I open this box. Listen, listen. I deny. I deny. I deny. <laughs> Look, man. So give me some happy news or something, man. I don't know, cause I gotta go. I'm going back tomorrow morning. You know, I'm, I'm anxious to get. What's back happening? This good. Yeah, what's happening, girl? Well, listen, you know, with all the stuff that's going on in our communities, I'm seeing among a lot of the teenagers, I mean, they seem to be more aware of the stuff and how it's affecting them and looking for ways to protect themselves against it. Um, there's an arts group that does work for from my management well, uh, company, and what they've done is they've uh, they've seen they've they've gathered up a lot of the young people in the community, and teaching them art, and then bringing them into the community and have them painting these murals. Mm -hmm. On building where I work at, there's this big mural tracing the history of Harlem. Mm. Then a block down, the, uh, another uh, um, uh, Mark Levine, who's the representative for the area. They now they're, they're doing a whole uh, mural on South Africa on his building. Really? Yeah. Hey, we gotta go there. Hey, I gotta get this on the tape before yeah. I leave. Yeah. In fact, I think there's a big picture of Nelson Mandela on the on the yeah, on, I think on the on the corner of that of that building. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So there are some things going on. Some small things going. On. And listen. I've been dealing with, uh, like I said, I, I refer back to my contact and always being uh, being summoned by sisters. The sisters are doing are doing an incredible job. I mean, the sisters are networking and bringing stuff together, and organizing people. They try to get stuff done on the health on the health field and in other fields, 
they they have not been um they've been trying to stay away from a lot of the politicians. They haven't done a lot of stuff with a lot of politicians because they're not having a whole lot of uh uh a leeway of politicians. Well they, you know, you'll never get results that way. No, they, 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 but they they've already figured that out. See, they figured out. So what they've been doing is they've been networking with people in institutions in the, in the neighborhoods to see if they can get things done that way on the ground. They've been doing lateral things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I see a lot of that going on, and also again I see a lot of the young people be very culturally conscious about you know how they appear. Places they they will not come in they do not come in a place looking like you expect young African American young people to look they come in looking more like someone who just came in from the Sudan or someone who just might, who just might have been visiting the Congo or something mm. I mean hair wise clothing wise style wise I see a lot I just met a brother yesterday uh, who's a friend of a uh, friend of a friend and. He was he was telling me I uh, uh, was telling me about you know how he's looking for a job so I was asking him so what's your skill set he said well I was raised in, in the Middle East Africa in in, in in Senegal and in England so I speak four languages for, uh, fluently four foreign languages fluently I I've, I've done a lot of business stuff so. Uh, I'm looking for something, you know, something I can do that will put all those those skill sets to work. So again, that's the kind of person who's coming into our community now. See, so we got to begin to, you know, begin to take a real look at, you know, who we, what the demographic and who we have available. Now, the mere fact that the brother speaks four four different languages, I mean, that gives us a, an entry into other places. He, he's he's our conduit to other places. He's our way to communicate. Our, we've tried, been trying to communicate outside to people on the ground in other countries. So he can he can communicate with where, where he can communicate and wall off to in synagogue. Yeah. And of course, Gambia is there, so that's English. He yeah. can he can still he, he can. He speaks speak, Arab language he, too. He, he can be up there in Jordan and and, and in yeah. France yeah. And, and, and 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 yeah. And, First thing that came to my mind was, hey, this will work. This is a way for us to get on the ground is a people to people communications going mm -hmm. because again there's still this this image of African people around the world it, which is very negative and even though there are people who are coming more and more into our communities from these other communities and having interrelations with us and seeing us on a daily basis there's still some there's still some there's still some negativity and still some miscommunication going on because I had a sister walk up to me Right on 125th Street, and she says to me, "Um, are you African? Are you from Africa?" <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, "You said yes, yes. <laughs> and so you are." <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mama. Anytime.